Hello guys, I welcome you back to Giant Graphic Tutorials. In this session of tutorials, we are going to learn how to transform raw images by retouching them. So this tutorial is all about transforming raw images by retouching the images. So let's get inside the Photoshop and start transforming our images by retouching them. So first of all, I just want to import an image that we are going to use for our retouching. So first of all, I just want to put this inside the Photoshop. So I will just open this with my Photoshop. So I make sure that I, 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 I will zoom in so that we will just know how the image is. So this is the raw image that we are going to work with for our today session of tutorial. So first of all, I just want to duplicate the layer here. So I will just press on ctrl plus j to duplicate this one so i will just select the image that i have just duplicated and do some cleaning of blemishes on the face of this image so we can see some blemishes on the face of this image so we are coming to remove them so we can do so by going to this panel we have spot healing brush to we have healing brush to we have patch to but for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to use our Spot Healing Brush tool. So I just want to pick this Spot Healing Brush tool. I'll go to the settings. I'll make sure that the size of the brush is about 22. The hardness is zero. Then I think we are done with it. So we will come back to the image and we we'll start cleaning the blemishes on the face of this image so we can do so by just clicking on the right click of the image by removing the blemishes one by one like this so i just want to do this for the entire of the image until we see that the image is actually clear So now after we have done with removing the blemishes from the face of this image, we will just go to this layer and duplicate the layer again. So Ctrl plus Z will duplicate it. Now we just want to give the names of the layer. So I just want us to name this layer as low or we can say low frequency or something like this or we can just type LF which means low frequency and this one will be hf which means high frequency separation so this layer basically deals with the color of the image and this layer the high frequency separation also deals with the texture of the image so now we are going to select the low frequency layer and we will just hide the high frequency layer so we will just go to our filter and go to our blur and go to our gaussian blur this time we are going to blur this image to the time that we will see that we are no more seeing any kind of texture on the face of the image so let's move the radius until we see that we are not seeing any texture on the face of the image so this is what actually we just want to do so i think something like this is very cool radius of about 4.1 is very very cool because now we see that the texture of the image has disappeared so we just hit on okay so after we are done with this we just go to our high frequency separation we select it and go to our image then we move to apply image so we just go here and we will just change the image to low frequency separation so this is what we are going to see then we make sure that the blending option is subtract then the opacity is 100 the scale should be 2 and the offset should be 128 
so after we are done with this we just hit on ok like this then we select this layer and change the blending option to linear light so this is actually what we are going to have for the layer so now after we are done with this we are going to mix colors on the face of the image so that every part of the image will look balanced and so beautiful so to do this we are going to select a brush called a mixer brush tool so we will just pick our mixer brush tool and now we make sure that the hardness of the brush is zero then we make sure that we change this to a clean brush so that we will get something like this then we come here and we now set the weight to 9% then the load should be 75% the mix should be 90% then the flow should be 100% these are very important settings that we need to make with our mixer brush too so after we are done with this we come so we come to the face of the image then we start mixing the face of the image so to do this we will first select our low frequency separation which deals with the color of the image so we will select the low frequency separation then we come back on the face of the image we are going to mix the part of the image which looks more alike so now we can see that see, the part of this image is so lightening so we just mix that place alone and then we come to another place and mix that place also alone so we just want to mix the place which are more alike the place which are darkening should be mixed separately from the place which are lightening so this is what we are basically coming to do right now so i will just start mixing the places which looks more alike so i just want to mix this place like this so i just remove and go to another place then i start mixing it like this so this is what we actually want to do so the place which looks more alike are mixed separately so this is how our mixing brush tool works so we just want to mix the places which looks more alike like this in strokes like this very nice so i'll just remove it and go to here this place looks so alike so i will just mix this place like this very nice and beautiful then i'll just come here and do the same here very nice and beautiful so i'll just keep on mixing it until i see that i have a very quality and a very clear image so this is what i just want to do very nice and very awesome So now we can see that our image has really transformed. Our image has really transformed. So now we can hide this and this is how our image was looking like. And now after the retouching, this is how our image is looking like. Now we can see that our image has really transformed. So this is a simple way of retouching 
images with a lot of blemishes so this is the end of the tutorial you can just learn this simple tutorial to do a lot of retouching techniques or to boost your retouching techniques so thank you very much and we are going to meet the same time again goodbye